Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to set up a firewall rule template. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video, we can set up a firewall on Proxmox on different level. So there is the digital center level where we can configure actually the firewall here. So as you can see, there is a firewall section. We can configure firewall globally, okay? There is also node level. So each node had, has also a firewall section that we can configure actually the firewall for this node, okay? And finally, we have the firewall actually section for each container or VMs that, that we can configure, okay? So, for example here, I will take as an example this container here called Arch Linux, okay? Which has an IP address that one, that 100, okay? So, as you can see here, if I go to the firewall section and options, you can see that the firewall is actually set up to yes in this case here for this container here okay so here we go so the firewall is on okay but we don't, don't have any rule setup okay so the objective of this video is to create actually a template that we can apply to any container or vm that we want to set up a firewall okay rule actually okay so as i told you for this arch linux container the firewall is on but we don't have any rule as you can see here so if i click on this firewall here you can see that i don't have any firewall rule okay so let's try to connect to this container and of course as the firewall is on we cannot reach it so if i open my ssh client and if i try to ssh into this machine using the root actually account so here we go so i will enter the ip address which is 192.168.1.100 so you can see that the ssh will time out because the firewall is on okay so now let's actually uh, create a template rule okay then we can apply it to this container or any other vm or container okay so in order to do that we have to go to the data center level okay so i will go to the, my data center here so i'll click on it and i will go actually to the firewall section as you can see here okay so the first step is to create an alias so let's create it on an alias and let's add it so we can call it whatever I want. So actually an alias will actually uh, permit us to identify, for example, a subnet or IP address that I will try to connect with in order to reach our container or virtual machine. So I will call it, for example, our local net. So local net, okay. And here I have to provide for example the subnet masks for the actually my local net so i will actually try to create a template rule to allow my local net to connect to ssh to this actually container okay so here i will have to provide the ip subnet mask for this local net so for me it's 192.168.1.0 slash 24 okay so this is my local network so i can leave as command for example local network okay and that's it we have created actually an alias called local net okay so after that we have also to create a security group okay so i will click on this security group here and i will create a security group okay so of course you can also name it whatever you want so i'll call it security group for example low ssh okay and you can also leave a command 
okay so here I will create the security group so as you can see here the security group has been created so now I have to create a rule attached to this security group so I will click on it here we go and here I have to click on this button add in order to add actually a rule okay and this is our famous add rule for Proxmox so here we can set up whatever rule we want so in our example here for example we want to allow our local net to connect via SSH to this container okay so of course I have to provide protocol so as you may know SSH uses the protocol actually TCP so I have to select it here we go and also we have to define the source okay so the source as you can see it gives me all the aliases and the one that we have created which is local net this is related to our local network so I will select it and here I have to provide the destination port so the destination port for SSH is 22 it's very famous and also you have you can actually put a command if you want and of course you have to enable this rule okay here we go add so now we have added actually a rule related to this security group okay so as you can see it's pretty easy to create so now we have set up actually a firewall rule template so we can apply this firewall rule template to any VM or container that we want okay so for our example let's apply it to this Arch Linux container okay so I will actually click on this Arch Linux container here here we go and I have to go to the firewall section okay so I click on firewall here as you can see here we have the option to add or actually to insert security group and of course we'll be inserting the security group that we have just created so let's click on this insert security group here we go and here it's gives me the list of the security group that I have so of course you can create as many security group as you want and attach any rule to any security group that you want okay so for our demo we have only one which allows ssh so i have to select it and of course i have to enable it and of course finally we can add this security group here we go so now we have attached the security group to our actually container okay so now everything is okay the firewall is on as you can see here on the options and we have attached a security group to our container so now we can finally connect to our container using this firewall rule template so let's test that so I will return back to my uh, SSH client here we go so before as you can see we have connection timeout because we didn't attach any rule or uh, actually template to our container so now let's repeat the procedure once again and see what we get here we go so now you can see that I can actually uh, reach my container via SSH so let's enter actually the password here if my model is good and now we are in so you can see that I can execute any command inside our Arch Linux container okay so you can see how easy it is to configure a firewall template rule and then attach it to any VM or container that we want okay so if you have another VM you can do the same thing because now we have actually a template that allows SSH we can attach it using the same procedure to any container or actually VM so that was just a brief video to show you how to create a firewall 
rule template and attach it to any container or VM. So if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like or comment. Otherwise, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.